Howdy, guys, and welcome to Cliff Notes, and welcome to night 52 of the Overnight Feed Recaps for Big Brother Season 26. All right, if you recall yesterday during my recap, I mentioned that it seemed like in the house, most likely the veto was not going to be used today. Most likely, Angela would be the target. Most likely, Angela would be going home on Thursday. Well, scratch every single bit of that, because we've had another 24 hours in the Big Brother house, and it's been a rather eventful 24 hours. Lots of conversations taking place, so let's just get right into it, because all kinds of stuff is up in the air right now. Now, normally, I cover the overnight feeds more than anything else. We've got some conversations that took place during the day yesterday that we absolutely need to talk about. So let's get right into it. First of all, if you recall from our recap yesterday, we had the usual suspects staying up all night long, t and Chemo and Rabina. We also, though, had Quinn up for a little while. Leah was up for a little while. Well, with those people up, people are paying attention. And when I say people, I mean Angela. Angela sleeps in that outside bedroom. During my season, Tommy Brocco slept out there and he kept track of everyone going in and out of the bedrooms, what time they came in, things like that. Apparently, Angela's been doing the same thing and she got a little bit concerned or she saw it as an opportunity to talk about these five staying up as late as as they did. So early yesterday morning, Angela talked to Chelsea and told Chelsea that she had been up late at night eavesdropping. A couple of times she was eavesdropping throughout the evening, paying attention to who was doing what. And she learned that t and Rabina and Chemo and Quinn and Leah are all working together. They've all come together as this alliance and they're all working together against everyone else in the house. So to counter that alliance of those five, she has proposed an alliance to Chelsea of herself and Chelsea and Mackenzie and Leah, and maybe Cam as well, to flip on Quinn uh, and basically break the other group up. So Angela is saying, hey, they're working together. We need to, while we still have the chance, turn on them, break them up somehow. And, oh, it just happens to be that maybe I'm saved as a result of it if there's a bigger target than I am. Uh, So yes, Angela has put that out there to, to Chelsea and it's just going to stir up all kinds of stuff throughout the day. So let's talk about the feeds themselves that take place after that. We've got Chelsea and Mackenzie talking. Uh, Chelsea, and this is actually several conversations that took place throughout the morning. I'm kind of combining them all a little bit. We've got Chelsea and Mackenzie talking. Chelsea is bringing up this possible alliance that is formed between t and Rabina, Chemo, Quinn, and Leah. She's concerned about it. I'm amazing how people just believe anything they hear sometimes in here. Uh, but Chelsea is bringing this up to McKenzie. McKenzie is saying, well, I do know they were up late. I, she, I think she says at one point she went in to go to the bathroom and she saw several, Tcor and Rabina and Leah. So she saw several of them in the bathroom when she went in there. She knows they were up late. At one point, Quinn apologized to her when they came to bed because they were giggling and stuff. So she's basically confirming to Chelsea that, well, they were up late. I do know that. Uh, She's confirming that. Chelsea is suggesting that, you know, maybe Angela's just trying to plant some seeds here and and this whole thing is going to get messy. Uh, From Angela, why would anyone think that anything that Angela does is going to get messy? Yeah, no. Yeah, she's most definitely planting some seeds and seeds, uh, they appear to be taking root very quickly. Uh, But Chelsea is recognizing this could just be Angela doing more Angela stuff, but they're still worried about it. Uh, They're talking about McKenzie now possibly using the veto and not just using it, using it on Angela. Uh, And that at that point, they would either then put up Leah or Quinn next to chemo and send Leah or Quinn out the door. McKenzie, whose biggest enemy in the house seems to be Angela, who is going on and on about Angela, trying to make her lose and OTEV and all that. Now they're talking about using the veto on her. 24 hours, incredible inside the Big Brother house. So yeah, the plan, I'm not plan. The discussion is whether maybe McKenzie could use that veto and they could go ahead and flip on Quinn and Leah and shut down this other alliance forming if it really is forming. Uh, They are talking about, would it be Leah or Quinn that they should put up and send out the door? That Leah maybe has more connections, but they think that Quinn is uh, probably the the bigger target or or the 
that Quinn is uh, uh, is tougher to beat in competitions, would be a harder person uh, that, that he could win a few and, and get a streak going and all that. So maybe take out Quinn because he's going to be tougher to beat in the competitions. They feel like they could get Lee a little bit later if they needed to. Uh, and then if they ta- do this, if they take out Quinn, then I think as Chelsea said at that point, then t and Rabina and Chemo should be very happy that they went after Quinn instead of Chemo, and it should get by all kinds of goodwill with those three, who they are starting to get worried about. Mackenzie's not happy that she's even considering using a veto on Angela. It goes against everything that she wants to do. Uh, so she just said, God, I can't believe it. Kill me if I use the veto on Angela. Not feeling great about the position that she feels like she's getting ready to get put into. All right, we've got Angela and Leah talking a little bit. Angela is telling Leah, saying, look, I feel like something may have formed with you and Quinn and the group of three last night. I know y'all were up. Normally you aren't up that late. And I just, I'm worried there's some side stuff going on here, Leah. Well, Leah, you know, denying it, but uh, she, Angela's not buying it. Angela's saying, look, I still trust you, Leah. I still consider you my number one. I'm just worried. Uh, she wants her and Leah and Chelsea and Cam to work together, saying we could make this work. I'm not sure she said Cameron McKenzie. I, I guess it is her and Leah and Chelsea and Cam saying, let's the four of us work together. You don't need to be with them. Be with me. Be with us. We'll, we'll make it better, uh, Leah. Leah is saying through tears that she still loves and cares about Angela. Leah's starting to see that uh, when you're aligned with Angela, you're her best friend until you're not. Until she gets some kind of little paranoid suspicion and then throw everything else out the window. So yeah, Leah and Angela not having the best of conversations. They're saying they love each other and all, but just, there's a little bond that looks like it's been broken between these two. All right, we've got Angela and Mackenzie talking some more uh, or talking uh, in the morning. Angela saying, look, I know I'm going home. I, if I stay on the block, I will go home this week. Uh, and Angela's telling Chelsea or telling Mackenzie the same thing that basically she had told Chelsea earlier, saying, look, what if we had a counter alliance of me and you and Chelsea and Leah, the four of us could work together and counter this other stuff going on. Uh, pull me off the block. We'll go after them and we'll make this all right, Mackenzie. And then she's talking about how Leah's going to flip on people whenever she can. She'll do what she has to do to stay on top in this game that no one can really trust Leah. And so, you know, you, you be careful and we got to work while we can doing that. Uh, Mackenzie is saying that she doesn't know what she'll do yet today as far as the veto itself goes. Angela's asking Mackenzie, saying, look, if you'll just protect me, if you'll save me this week, I can be an asset, I can be a vote, I can certainly benefit your game. So she's campaigning to Mackenzie and, and campaigning also for trying to form some kind of group to go against the other side. All right, we've got, speaking of the other side, we've got Mackenzie talking to t and Rabina a little bit later. They're all ragging on Leah. They're all talking about how they just don't trust her and everything else. Rabina is saying that she thinks that Leah, if she was HOH, that Leah would probably put up two girls at the end of the day, which goes against this whole girls alliance and all that. t is saying that she wants to prioritize the girls thing going forward. So if Leah is going to put up two girls, well, that just doesn't work well with their plan. So none of them really feeling comfortable uh, with Leah at this point in time. All right, we've got Chelsea and t and Rabina. Uh, now talking. So they talked to McKenzie. Now they're talking to, to Chelsea. Chelsea is telling t and Rubina about Angela's claims that they all have formed something late at night. They're denying it, saying, we just hang out. We're just goofing around. We're just hanging out. Uh, Chelsea is saying that she trusts this group of three more, t Chemo, and Rubina. She trusts them more than she trusts uh, Leah or Quinn or, or maybe even Angela as well. She said, I trust y'all more than anyone else. Uh, Chelsea is setting this narrative up, this conversation, very much as as everyone versus Cam, Leah, and Quinn. So she's kind of throwing Cam under the bus as well. Saying, I trust y'all more than Leah and Quinn and and Cam uh, right now. She's saying that any of them, if any of them were on the block against Leah, that Quinn and Angela would be two votes to save Leah. Well, it only takes three. So they're getting to the point where Leah, Chelsea saying Leah's pretty well protected by some of these other people. Uh, and she's going to be able to coast through this game at this this point in time. 
With all of this conversation, it now appears that Leah is the plan to get put up on the block and get sent home this week. Of course, that that means that McKenzie has to use a veto and then Chelsea has to put Leah up. But it sounds like that certainly is under consideration. Chelsea eventually during this conversation with T. Cord and Rubina says, look, my only goal this week is to split up Leah and Quinn. I don't want the two of them left in this game. One or the other needs to get out right now. Isn't that something? Isn't it amazing the way the winds can change in the Big Brother house? All right, we've got Leah and Chelsea talking to uh, to one another. Leah's denying what Angela's saying, that Leah formed this alliance with Quinn and T-Core Rubina and Kima. She said, nah, that's not true. That did not happen. Leah isn't happy that Angela's throwing her under the bus. I think at one point Chelsea says, well, <laughs> join the club. She's, she's throwing 90% of us under the bus. That's what happens when you work with Angela. But yeah, Leah not happy that she's getting thrown under the bus by Angela. Both of them are saying that if this true, if this is true, if they really had formed this alliance, this late night alliance and all that, why is Angela still wanting to have an alliance with Leah, still pull Leah over to their side? And Leah's saying, it doesn't make sense. If, if I betray her like that, why would anyone think that Angela is still going to, to save me or to, to want to work with me? That's not the way that Angela has ever operated. It just does not make sense. Uh, they're agreeing it. Doesn't mean they aren't still nervous about the whole concept uh, that Chelsea had still worried about it, uh, no matter how much uh, Leah denies it. Chelsea is saying that she and Leah and Mackenzie and Quinn need to meet later, discuss the voting since they would be the majority. They got to get everything figured out, what they want to do and, and nip this in the bud, so to speak. Yeah. Pandora's box has already been open. There's already a lot of people talking about this throughout the day. All right, we've got t and Cam talking to one another. Cam is saying that he wants Leah gone as much as t and her group want Leah gone. That, which t surprised you. Well, yeah, yeah, you want Leah gone? And he's saying, yeah, we haven't been close since week three. And now Chelsea thinks that I'll protect, uh, the, or uh, I take that back, uh, what Chelsea thinks that he may protect Leah uh, over Chelsea. That may be one of the reasons uh, that Cam is ready to get Leah out the door. But Cam tells uh, t Core says, look, we haven't been close since week three. And I think if it came right down to it, Leah's going to protect Quinn over me. I, I'm not anything special to Leah. She'll she'll cut me loose if she needs to. So why should I hold on to her? Uh, so he's trying to make it known that we aren't close. We're That's not us. We're not romance, strategy, nothing. I'm ready to see Leah out the door. Now, is he really wanting to see her gone so much right now? It could be. It could be he sees her as a bit of a, uh, of a of a hazard, an obstacle to getting closer to to Chelsea in terms of working relationships and all that. It could just be that he's trying to distance himself because he sees that that's crazy, maybe created a little bit of a target. But yeah, he's saying, I, I want Leah gone as much as y'all guys do. I'm not in a hurry. I don't, know. I don't necessarily want to keep her around. All right, we've got Quinn and McKenzie talking. Lots of uncertainty about whether to send home Angela or Chemo this week. No talk about using the veto. Yeah, we're back a couple steps once McKenzie's talking to, to Quinn. It's all about, would we keep Angela? Would we keep chemo in the house? Uh, McKenzie is saying that she doesn't, she really didn't want those three here all together, but she also doesn't want Angela here. She says at one point, could we just send both of, both of them home this week? Yeah. I had several weeks. I felt the same thing during uh, my season. But she's saying, yeah, I don't want the three here, but I also don't want Angela here. I don't know which is most important right now. Quinn is talking about that. He's saying, yeah, that's why I was so disappointed uh, when Leah used the, the veto on Angela last week. Angela could have been gone, and then we could have gone after the other side and all that. So he's saying, that. basically, yeah, I told you. <laughs> I told you, McKenzie. Uh, so, yeah, McKenzie's a little torn on which direction she wants to go without even getting into the, the idea that the veto could be used. I'm telling you, today may be a fun day with this veto ceremony. All right, we've got McKenzie talking to the cameras. She's saying that Quinn could be going home this week. He doesn't even realize it, but Quinn could be going home this week. Uh, but she's just not sure just yet if she's going to make that move or not. She's got to think about it overnight. All right, we've got Leah and McKenzie talking to each other, both expressing fear that Quinn is a strong player and could win this thing. Uh, McKenzie is saying that she just doesn't know who Chelsea would put up if McKenzie was, was to use the veto. I don't know what would happen, Leah. I I don't know. All I do, all I have is the power veto. 
I can't decide who goes up after that. So my hands are going to be clean of anything that happens after the veto is used. I got nothing to do with it, Leah. Uh, it's basically what she's putting out there. Yeah, they don't trust neither one necessarily. Uh, uh, it's not they don't trust Quinn. That's not the way it was phrased. It's more that Quinn is a strong player who could win this. So hint, hint, hint. Yeah, you know, we got to be careful. Uh, both of them are saying that. All right, we've got McKenzie and Cam talking. McKenzie's still not 100% convinced that this alliance that supposedly formed last night or the night before at this point, uh, if if that alliance that supposedly formed that Angela has mentioned really formed last night or that's just Angela saying more stuff. Uh, Cam is worried that if McKenzie does use a veto and that Quinn goes up on the block and then goes home, that it would then be McKenzie and Cam and Chelsea versus t and Rabina and Chemo in competitions. He doesn't think that Lee or Angela are going to have huge impact in terms of the competitions, HOH battles, things like that. But he really thinks it'd be him and McKenzie and Chelsea as the three dominant comp players versus t Rabina, and Chemo. So he's a little bit worried about that. McKenzie is saying if she uses the veto, not on Angela, but if she was to use on Chemo, then would she potentially have the support of t Chemo, and Rubina? Uh, and at that, that point, then Quinn could still go up in Chemo's place. Quinn could be the group target. She says everyone in the house would be fine with Quinn going home. So maybe instead of using on Angela, I could use on Chemo instead. Chemo, t and Rubina will love me for that. We still send Quinn out the door, just as was was talked about already. Uh, and now I got that side cheering me on just, just a little bit more. So again, if the veto is being used, we could see it go two different ways as well. All right, we've got McKenzie and Chelsea and Cam uh, talking to each other. McKenzie's complaining that Leah... McKenzie's complaining because Leah told her... Or let me say this again. McKenzie's complaining because apparently Leah has been saying that Cam likes McKenzie and she feels like that's putting a target on their backs. Later, McKenzie tells Chelsea uh, that Lee had me- had mentioned uh, that she just didn't, that, that Chelsea didn't like the relationship between Cam and McKenzie, that she felt like they were too close to each other, petting each other on the head and things like that. So uh, again, just finally McKenzie and Chelsea kind of hashing out a little bit this whole friction that we've seen uh as far as cam and maybe some flirting around and paying attention to the to leah and mckenzie and chelsea and it, at least they got it out there a little bit all right we've got leah and angela talking leah's worried because uh she's worried that angela told chelsea that this alliance had been solidified uh she's saying yeah angela says that i solidified this alliance with these other four people uh, Angela saying, I never said solidified. I never suggested that. No, I just said I felt like maybe they were trying to pull you in, but I never said solidified. So they're they're hashing that out a little bit. Uh, Leah eventually says, look, if, if you think I'm up to stuff like this, just come talk to me first. Uh, if you suspect me of doing this kind of stuff, come talk to me before you just start throwing these accusations out to other people. And Angela says, okay, going forward, I will. Yeah, not not ever, not in a heartbeat. Uh, but they talk about that. Eventually, Leah, trying to have a little more of a kumbaya moment, I suppose, uh, brings out the s'mores. They got the s'mores package oh, a while back, but I think they were have-nots at the time, so they didn't use it. Well, they've brought out the s'mores into the backyard. They're cooking the uh, marshmallows over the grill that they still have from Labor Day. Leah's kind of leading the way in that effort. Uh, so everyone's sitting around in the backyard eating s'mores, telling stories just about lives and where they want to live and things like that. Not No game chat. Uh, just enjoying a little Hershey's and, and some marshmallows and graham crackers. They did look pretty good. All right, we've got now the, the whole debate there. When you have a s'more, do you burn the marshmallows or do you just heat it up enough until it gets all nice and squishy? I'm very much the nice and squishy camp. t was saying you pretty much have to burn this thing to a crisp. So I had different thoughts on a uh, s'mores all right we got mckenzie and chelsea talking debating whether or not they want to make this move do they make this big move or or do they just let things be and send chemo or or angela out the door both of them are worried that quinn and leah will do whatever benefits them that either one has shown they're willing to flip on alliances flip on anyone so yeah they'll only work with you as long as it benefits them so they're worried about quinn and leah 
Uh, they're afraid Quinn and Leah working together would be a strong force uh, that they're kind of riding the middle as well between the group of three and between Chelsea and, and Cam and McKenzie. So they're just worried about Quinn and Leah at this point in time. They're thinking if the veto isn't used, Kimo probably would go home this week. Uh, there's talk about, I think Chelsea says, hey, what if McKenzie, you just confront Quinn about his intentions on voting? Say, so what are you going to do if... If we don't use the veto, who are you going to vote at? If we do use the veto and someone else went, I, I confront Quinn on, on where he wants to go with this and try to force him in a little bit. Uh, at this point, Cam comes in, joins the conversation, still more debating about what they should or shouldn't do. Chelsea is saying that she just doesn't trust Quinn or Leah or Chemo. Those are the three people in this house right now that she doesn't trust, and therefore one of them has to go home this week. Again, Quinn or Leah, or Chemo. No Angela mentioned in there. I have, Angela's still sliding. Angela, again, is just considered not nearly as dangerous. She stirs stuff up. You don't have to win competitions to become dangerous in the game of Big Brother. You just have to know when to poke and prod and, and develop the paranoia amongst other people, and Angela's proving to be brilliant at that. But they're saying that, uh, she's saying, Quinn, Leah, or Chemo, one of them has to go home this week for me to have the successful HOH. Uh, Cam is saying that the the easiest move is to get out Quinn, since both sides of the house have said they want him out. Hey, just whatever we do, get Quinn up on the block. We'll send him out the door. It's an easy HOH. No blood on your hands, uh, Chelsea. It's it's an easy way to to ha- finish up this week. All right, we've got Chelsea and Chemo talking. Chelsea is telling Chemo that uh, she's saying, "I hate I hate to be the one to tell you this, but you probably are going to be on the block." But you're going to be on the block come Thursday, but you're going to be on the block against Quinn and Quinn is going home. You are very much of the pawn at this point, Chemo. You are absolutely safe. Quinn is going home. So she's revealing their plan uh, to Chemo at this point in time. She's saying that she hopes by doing that, by sending Quinn out the door, by saving Chemo, uh, she, that she and everyone else can show Chemo that they want him to stay, that no one wants him to go home at this point in time. She's saying, I'm sorry that you got to stay on the block this week, uh, but we just have to do it in order to make sure that Quinn goes home. You're going to be fine, but you are going to be on the block through Thursday. Uh, Leo, uh, Leah is uh, telling Chemo that there's some suspect stuff going on. She just doesn't know what's good. There's something in the air tonight that she just doesn't quite know what's up, but there's something sus going on uh, in the Big Brother house. And that she's feeling a little excluded right now. Conversations taking place that she's not aware of, doesn't know what there's being talked about. She just has that feel. She's got that inkling that something is up. Well, you, you may find out today, Leah, what's up. All right, we've got Kimor and Tikor talking. Kimor is uh Kimor's talking, telling Tikor what Chelsea just told him about Quinn going up on the block, that Kimo's gonna be safe, Angela's coming off. Uh, yeah, he's spilling the beans on all that saying now I, I told her I wouldn't tell anyone. So, uh, so don't tell her that, you know, this, but yeah, she just got through telling me all of this. All right. We've got McKenzie and Chelsea and Leah talking. Leah comes in saying, Hey, is there tea to spill? What's going on? What are all these conversations talk taking place? She knows something's up. So what's that? What kind of tea is there to spill? McKenzie's saying, look, I haven't promised Angela or chemo anything I, I, about about vetoes and all that she said i'm still trying to decide what to do i probably won't decide until in the morning so she's trying to avoid any conversation about who would go up in place uh, of chemo or angela if mckenzie uses a veto she didn't want to deal with that at all from mckenzie's standpoint she's just saying eh, don't know what i'm gonna do yet i haven't promised anyone anything so i don't have any tea to give you uh lee at this point uh mckenzie is saying that quinn had said he wanted chemo gone uh, and Leah saying, you know, I don't remember him ever saying that. They had that conversation a couple times last night where, uh, where Leah was kind of denying that Quinn wanted chemo gone last week. And, and McKenzie saying, well, no, he said he wanted chemo gone. And I, yeah, you were right there and all that. So it has made McKenzie a little bit more suspicious of Leah that Leah is now trying to not deny a conversation that McKenzie is certain took place of uh, Quinn saying that he wanted uh, chemo gone uh, last week. So this is before Joseph went on the block as, as a renom. 
Uh, so yeah, that's just making him a little more suspicious. So they actually are trying to kind of lead Lee into this by mentioning that. And Leah saying, that's, that's weird. I just, I don't, I don't remember him saying anything like that. Uh, Leah, the conversation doesn't get any better. Leah is saying that she doesn't feel safe uh, with Angela anymore. And uh, again, I think Leah at this point in time, seeing, getting nervous that something could be up is trying to make sure the target stays on Angela, that Angela is who goes home this week. Because if it's Angela, it means it's not her, uh, Leah. So uh, Leah saying, yeah, you know, I just don't trust. I don't feel safe around Angela anymore. Uh, Leah saying, you know, she said all this stuff about you, Leah, and uh, forming this alliance and all that. But you know, I, I just, it's, it's weird. And Leah saying, look, her, this claim that Angela made that I did this, uh, she says, it doesn't make sense because y'all know that y'all are my two closest people in this house, right? Mackenzie and Chelsea, y'all are the ones I care about more than anyone else in this house. So why would it make any sense for me to be flipping against y'all? What Angela's saying just doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Uh, Chelsea is saying that Leo is always going to do what Quinn wants her to do. And Leah is denying that. She's a little little taken aback by that. She said, that's not true. No way. She said, just Leah last week. Quinn didn't want me to use a veto. I used it anyway. I'm going to do what's best for my game. I'm not just going to do what, what Quinn wants me to do, but Chelsea very much trying to tie together Leah and, and Quinn as a, as a working duo with that comment that she made. Uh, Leah is asking if there's anything that she can do for the two of them to, to help them out this week with their decisions and all of that. Uh, she's saying that Quinn is going to, uh, that, that Quinn is going to be working with, with these three hard, going forward she said yeah he, he's gonna be working so hard uh, going forward for us at which point chelsea says well quinn was working pretty hard for the the pentagon until he turned on that right uh so yeah certainly lee uh chelsea continuing to push the narrative that quinn is not to be uh trusted at, at that point uh both of them are talking about quinn has been acting a little suspicious uh here just recently uh, chelsea is saying that if mckenzie uses the veto she's gonna she's not gonna have any option if mckenzie uses the veto she's going to have to put up rabina quinn or leah Uh oh yeah leah doesn't like hearing that leah said what me why why are you talking about me as an option and uh chelsea said why i i i'm not gonna put up t core and i told cam i wouldn't put him up so there's no one left it's just the way it is it's it's rabina or quinn or you leah and Leah said, well, I, I'm a little concerned uh, that, that I would be an option at this point in time. So I feel like it seems like Quinn is probably the more likely target. Uh, but Chelsea and McKenzie certainly seeming like they're starting to prep Leah a little bit. Uh, that, that it could be a veto being used and it could be someone important to Leah going on the block. And uh, I, I think Chelsea even mentioning those three is going to be a way to soften the blow. That if they do use a veto, if Quinn does go on the block, uh, Chelsea's going to be able to tell Leah, say, hey, it was either him or you. And we don't want to send you out the door. Uh, I I think that's why that was said. So, yeah, Leah's certainly seeing that plans could indeed be afoot at this point in time. And guys, with that, it's like 730 in the morning Houston time. And they're still awake. Now, I think the last I saw, the lights were off in the HOH room. But that doesn't mean that. Chelsea and McKenzie aren't up there still talking. I don't know. I, I think McKenzie's just decided that Chelsea's HOH is her HOH now that she has power also. Uh, so still up there talking. I had shut it down at some point in time. So I chose to do it right here. So there you have it. So, so what's going on? Well, the big deal today, veto ceremony. We're going to know so much more at this point in time. If McKenzie uses a veto, I think Chelsea's going to put Quinn on the block talking about a blind side uh, a back door for the ages uh potentially uh, could be starting today we will find out quinn's going to be shocked leah's going to be shocked angela will yet again think that it's because she's the greatest thing since sliced bread and that everyone loves her in the house and that's why they pulled her off i didn't realize that if angela gets pulled off the block she'll be the first person in big brother history who had the veto used on her three times in a single season. I had it used on me twice. I didn't realize that I was tied for the lead on that. But uh, uh, yeah, Angela would be the first person to have three separate vetoes used on her during a season. 
And it sounds like it could happen. Now, having said all that, it may be that once they finally do get to sleep, assuming they actually get any sleep, they may wake up with a cleared head and realize that why are we jumping through so many hoops because of something that Angela basically initiated uh, 24 hours ago. And this may all be for naught. And the veto won't be used. Angela will go home and it'll it'll just be like 24 hours of, of dream time. I don't know. We're going to find out today. So uh, I will certainly, uh, tonight, Cliff Notes Live, 8 o'clock Eastern, 7 o'clock Central. Uh, that'll be on. And then I'll have it as a replay as well later. Uh, but we're going to talk all about the veto ceremony. So bring your questions, bring your opinions. It ought to be a crazy discussion this evening. 8 o'clock Eastern, 7 o'clock Central on, on the same YouTube channel. Uh, and then I'll be back tomorrow morning to give you an update on what happened as well and all the overnight discussions once they had the veto ceremony. It could be a wild 24 hours. Guys, have a great Monday. I will talk to you all again this evening and again tomorrow morning. Until then, SKD 143. Cheers, my friends. Bye.